Okay, so welcome back. This is video number four, and we're going to talk about uh, different WordPress learning management system plugins that are available to you. Now, obviously, there are tons and tons of tons of ones out there, but here's just some of the top ones that are available to you. Now, let's be honest, choosing the right WordPress learning management system is crucial to your success. So really, it ends up being your choice at the end of the day. So what you want to do is you want to take a look at each site, each plugin, what features they offer and get an idea of what you want to do. Because what you want to do may be different than what I want to do or what somebody else wants to do. So you're going to know that better than anyone else. So there are some free ones out there, but here's the thing. Is it really worth it? Because the reality is that your site is important and being able to set things up, accept payments. A lot of times you'll make that money back. That's obviously not a guarantee, but uh, it's all about the experience. If you can create a better experience for people, like I said, the consumption rate is going to go up and they will most likely want, want to come back. So that's what I want you to do is to look through the plugins that we're going to talk about in this video and ask yourself, is this what my students are going to enjoy? Don't even think about price right now. Just think about that right now. Okay. So there are about five WordPress LMS plugins that we're going to go over in this video. But the first one is one that we highly recommend that you get access to. And the reason why is because not only does it offer pretty much every feature that we discuss in this video course, but in addition to that, it also integrates into all sorts of membership plugins, into a lot of different other WordPress plugins that enable you to do much more, to make a not just an online course, but a community that is engaging and that is, uh, has gamification built into it via other integrations. And I'll show you that in just a second, but learndash.com. And as you can see here, it, it looks really nice. And actually as of now, learndash 3.0 uh, was just released and it looks really, really nice. So if we scroll down here, you can kind of get an idea. You can sell your courses, you can drip feed content, you can deliver certificates, points, and badges to encourage learners, and you've got engagement triggers. So based upon different actions that the student takes, you can either message them automatically or uh, do certain things. So that's nice about LearnDash. It's not just a online learning management system that accepts money and delivers your content, but it's, it's just so much more than that. All right. So you can see, you can create groups, you can manage learning progress. So you can see uh, where the student is in terms of their learning path, what they've completed, and you can get reports as well that tell you kind of a bird's eye overview of everybody in your course. So if you scroll back to the top, you can click features here. And there's a lot of things here is you can do quizzing, advanced quizzing. You can create courses very, very easily. You got uh, prerequisites that you can create. You have dynamic forums, you have grade books, you have course points. So you can award points for completing courses and unlock new ones. You got certificates and badges. This is the reason why we like learn dash is because it's it provides you with tons and tons of different features. You don't need to use every single one of them, but it's there in case you grow. And that's something to think about. You know, as a business person, you need to think long term. So instead of thinking, okay, 
this is what I need now. Think about, okay, this is what I need now, but I can have the potential of growing, you know, this site, this business to many different courses, to a community kind of thing. Now, before we talk about LearnDash and, you know, how to integrate it with uh, gamification and all of that, uh, let me talk about the other WordPress plugins. And in fact, what I'll do is when I give you a Learn Dash overview in the next video, we'll discuss that. All right. So the next WordPress LMS plugin is called Lifter LMS. That's LifterLMS.com. And as you can see here, it says everything you need to create, sell, protect your online courses. So if we scroll down here, you can get an idea of uh, what it offers. And like I said, what I recommend that you do is jot down what your vision is or what are the elements and the features that you will need. So that's one, that's the second one. The third one is called WP Courseware. And you can get here by going to flyplugins.com slash WP dash courseware. Or you can simply go to google.com and type in WP Courseware and you'll get this page. Now WP Courseware has actually been around for a good amount of time. In fact, uh, when WordPress Elements Systems began to develop, uh, they were actually one of the first few ones. So they've evolved a, a good amount over the years. Now, as you can see, they've got drag and drop, they got drip content, which is uh, pretty standard nowadays. They You can protect your courses, quizzes, you can manage students, you've got membership integration and shopping cart integration. All right, so that's the third one. The fourth one, uh, which is actually by WooCommerce, it's called Sensei. And Sensei is another WordPress plugin. Now bear in mind that Sensei is not as feature rich compared to LearnDash. It is feature rich in the sense that it can provide a lot of different things like quizzes and the standard items, but beyond that, really learn dash really goes above and beyond and of course last but not least we have namaste lms that's uh, namaste dash lms dot org and this one says that it is free but they have a free version and of course they have a pro version so if we click on go pro so namaste lms pro version you can create classes, you can assign teachers to the class, you can award badges, you can reorder courses, manage files. So a lot of basic elements, essentially. Now, if we go to other modules, you can kind of get an idea of additional plugins that are on top of the Namaste LMS system. So as you can see, it's a fairly basic and it might be something that you need. I mean, if you're low budget, you can do this first, but bear in mind that as you grow, it'll be a pain to switch. So that's why I say start with the one that really works for you first. It can be Learn Dash, it can be uh, something else, but stick with that first and think about it and review it and look at the features and see if that is gonna take you, you know, a few years or even five years down the road, all right? So with that said, let's move on to the next video.